So recently I noticed that people are finding it difficult to contact the Shopify chat support um, and I thought I'd make a quick video on how to do that. So first I'm on the help.shopify.com, Shopify Help Center uh, website and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click contact Shopify support. It won't take me immediately to the chat because they want to make sure that you don't have any dumb questions, basically. Uh, you can either log in or you can continue without logging in. There's no difference, really. First, they're going to bring you to this screen. And again, there's no chat link. So I'm just going to write like product reviews or something like just something random. And then we'll see this button get support. OK, I'm going to click continue. And then finally, I'm at this screen where I can open the chat screen. So if I click chat with us, I'll uh, put my name in you know, and then I'll click chat with us and it'll open the chat screen. OK, so that's it. Uh, I'm going to close that immediately. So guys, Shopify chat is great. I would say that it's one of the biggest benefits of Shopify as compared to other platforms like I don't know, WordPress, for example, people coming from WordPress forget that they can actually, that they're actually paying for a service with Shopify. And so Shopify support will actually help you get things done on your store. It's not like just a free platform like WordPress. So you should definitely use that. Um, but Shopify support does have limitations. It does have things that are out of scope. So uh, I'm on this page support for themes on the uh, Shopify Help Center. And they talk about what they actually help with. So mostly that's going to be the free themes from Shopify. They've got a list of themes that they can help you with. And they say that it's on a case by case basis, right? So it, it's very hard to explain in one page or it's hard to, for me to explain in this video exactly what they can help with or what they can't help with. Basically, you just need to contact them and find out. What's interesting is that they help you with up to one hour. I believe that's what I saw just now in 15 minute increments. Uh, that's right. If you're on the basic Shopify plan or higher, then you can use up to 60 minutes of complimentary design support used in 15 increments. I'm not sure if that's like 60 minutes a month or like in total, but basically Shopify support does have its limitations. So what do you do? Uh, when you need help with something else. So if you have a paid theme, uh, if you bought a theme from a theme developer, here I am on the theme store, and we see the retina theme. It's a very popular theme, and it's made by Out of the Sandbox. Okay, so this is the theme developer. And this is the second place where you can go for support. I'm going to click here and open up the developer's website. And so they will have support links. They have a help center. They have a, where they have information about the various themes. Um, and they do have a chat. Yeah, they do have a chat and they do help, but their help is also limited. So they're not going to help if you want to do something custom with the theme. What they help with is it's kind of like a warranty. It's kind of like they guarantee that everything works on their theme, everything that's supposed to work. Right. Um, but they're not going to help you if you want to make their theme do something else, something that they didn't build it to do. Right. If they're custom modifications. Um, so in this case, uh, you might need the help of a developer. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. OK, so the other thing I wanted to talk about was if you need help with an app, if you're having trouble with either installing an app um, or if you're having trouble with getting an app to work in some kind of unique situation, uh, you can contact app developers, right? You can contact the company that makes the app. So Judge Me Product Reviews is made by Judge Me. Um, and every app on the Shopify App Store will have links down here where you can contact the app developer. You have the developer website, you have the email, and you also have a link like get support through Shopify. This is really underrated, actually. A lot of my clients, so I'm a developer, and uh, a lot of my clients will contact me about an app 
not working properly or they are not able to install it properly or something like that. Um, and I always tell them, have you tried contacting the app developer? Because the app developer wants you to keep using their app, right, for as long as possible. Even if it's a free app, they want you to use their app, okay? Um, and they're gonna help you make it work. So there have been many times when an app developer has gone above and beyond to help me or to help my clients get something done on their store. Things that I would think are out of scope for that app, but you know, they were happy to help because they just want you to keep using their app, uh, which is very cool. So that's another free option for getting help um, with your Shopify store if it concerns an app. That is probably all for the free options. Now, in many cases, you're going to need a developer. I'm sure that many of you know about Shopify Experts. Shopify Experts is the official place to get help with Shopify. So I'm just gonna search for a service here, theme customization, or like custom theme development, for example. Um, and we'll see a list of experts that can help you with this. You can filter them by country so you can find someone local. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's built into your Shopify admin, so you can actually hire them directly from, like when you log into your Shopify store. Um, and it's pretty easy. The only thing is it might not be the best for like very small jobs. Um, I think most Shopify experts are like design agencies um, or larger companies. There may be some freelancers as well, but they're mostly, I think, looking for bigger jobs. Um, and if you just need a bit of help with something small, um, it may not be the best option. The best option might be a different company called Store Tasker. So this is also a very popular company that, um, that was partnered with Shopify for a long time. Shopify actually used to direct people here um, and I think that they, they still do often. Um, so these guys specialize in small tasks. Uh, so things that like take an hour or less, uh, they can do bigger things as well, but like their specialty is just small tasks. And I think it's around $70 uh, is like one small task. I think that takes around one hour and their uh, turnaround time is supposed to be very quick as well. So you can get things done, um, you know, like the next business day. And there is another company that is very similar to Store Tasker, and it's called Task Husky. Um, and yeah, I think the idea is the same. They do small tasks, they, um, they get it done really quickly. They have like a streamlined process for you to get a quote. Um, and I think it's just a bit cheaper than Store Tasker. So they got tasks starting from $39. And guys, if you do end up using Store Tasker, I would really appreciate if you use the link uh, in the description of this video uh, because they will give me a small commission for the referral and that's what lets me make these videos. That's what lets me spend time making these kinds of videos. The last thing I want to show you is Upwork and Fiverr. So these are freelance marketplaces. They're not targeted towards Shopify specifically. They're just places where you can find freelancers and you can find all types of freelancers, you know, developers, designers, copywriters, marketers, whatever. When I started my freelance career, I actually used to work on both of these platforms. Uh, and I've always, I've also hired people from these platforms. So, uh, you know, I know it from both sides. So here you can find a very good quality developer or designer, but you can also find a lot of people that are just calling themselves developers or designers, but they don't actually have the experience. It's probably a bit harder to find someone that is good. Like you have to filter through a lot of people uh, and maybe test a few people. But when you do find someone, uh, it's possible that they may become your developer or designer for a long time. Um, it's also quite affordable. So here's the thing, when you, uh, when you use Shopify Experts or when you use Store Task or something like that, you pay a fixed price for a task. Whereas with Upwork, for example, you can start an hourly contract with a freelancer 
And so they have this timer and they only track time when they're doing work for you. And this can be very cost efficient. So if you've only got like a couple of hours of work per month, but it's like something that you need help with often, like you might need help every week, but only like 20 minutes or so, that can be uh, the best option for you. You know, through Upwork, you can have a developer who just tracks even just 10 minutes. I have clients who I just track 10 minutes of work for occasionally when they need my help and it's not a problem at all. I just turn on a timer, do the work for them and then turn it off. And it's very cheap for them as well and it's easy for me. That's, that's why Upwork can be a good option. Now let's talk about Fiverr. Fiverr is interesting because it works in the opposite way from like a traditional job board. So on Upwork, people post jobs like you post a job and then a freelancer will apply to that job, right? Whereas on Fiverr, it's the other way around. Freelancers post gigs or like the services that they're offering to do. And then you can browse these gigs and see what interests you, like what you might need. You can obviously search for like the service you're looking for, but also you might find a service that you never thought about, you never knew existed. And they're also very clearly priced. Like, you know how much you're gonna pay right away. On Fiverr, you're also gonna have to filter a lot. You know, you're gonna have to think about if you're actually gonna get a good service from, from this person and if this service is, is for real or do they just want your money, you know. Overall, Fiverr is, is gonna be a lot cheaper, a lot lower level of English, for example. Like, communication is gonna be a lot worse. Um, there's like there's also some risk because with Fiverr you buy the gig like you pay for it and then they deliver the work so like there's a certain level of risk you can dispute if the work was done well or not but you probably don't want to get into that um, I would recommend using Fiverr for things that are very small and straightforward right so an example of something small and straightforward might be a bug fix, right? So these guys are offering to fix a bug starting at 18 euro. Um, and a bug might be something that just on your store is supposed to be working, but it's not, okay? So like the price isn't showing up correctly, the sale price isn't showing correctly. I, I don't know, maybe an image slider isn't working. Something small and very specific that you can describe in just a couple of sentences. That would be a good task maybe for Fiverr. Guys, I'll just summarize where you can find help with your Shopify store. Firstly, you're gonna check the Shopify support chat. They will help you up to one hour, and this is for themes that are supported by them, so usually the free themes. If you've got a paid theme, so you bought a theme from the Shopify theme store, they're made by a developer like Pixel Union or Out of the Sandbox, you can contact them, but they will mostly help you if it's the case of a bug in the theme like something's meant to be working but it's not but they won't help you with custom modifications okay and another option is contacting app developers that's if you have a problem with an app so those are the free options now out of the paid options you of course have shopify experts this is best for medium to large tasks or for example setting up a brand new store or completely redesigning your store and that's something that I would use Shopify experts for. For small tasks, you have Store Tasker and Task Husky. They're pretty similar. They've got very fast turnaround and like a fixed, uh, like a fixed price for certain size of task. Um, and then you have freelance marketplaces like Upwork and Fiverr. The advantage of Upwork is it has this hourly option. So if you find a developer you like, you can start an hourly contract with them and then they will just track time whenever you need them to do something and it can be something like very small and they can just track 10 minutes if it's something that only takes 10 minutes and there are fixed rate projects as well on Upwork um, and Fiverr, the advantage of Fiverr is that you can browse gigs that people are offering, you can browse services that you never even knew existed and it might be very interesting um, you might find something that will actually help your business that you, you never thought about. Um, but be very skeptical. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're gonna use any of the services that I talked about, 
please check the video description and use the links from there. I would be very grateful because that's what lets me make these videos. And if you have any questions about any of the services I talked about, um, or if you want me to make a video on another topic, just leave a comment, let me know. Best of luck, see you guys next time.